What's going on guys? It is Murderink here and uh did Parium leak their Halloween fusion by accident? That's the real question here. That's what I want to know. I'm sure that's what you guys want to know if you clicked on this. So let's get right into it. Where did I find this? How did I hear about this? I heard about this in a DM. Someone was like, yo, murder, did you see this? It happened kind of like in the middle of the night. So this is where we found it. It was in the Google Play Store. As we can see, Play Store using a LD player, which is an Android emulator on the computer here. Now, if you scroll down, what's new? All of this good stuff. Yes, it has the news. Great, great, great. However, if you keep scrolling down and you look through this, you get this image right here. Now, I've never seen this before. Can this just be some random picture? I mean, everything else looks pretty up to par here. This isn't like your typical, I mean, okay, this one, stunning next-gen 3D graphics. We all know the game doesn't look like that. However, this seems new. This has a Halloween theme to it. So what exactly is this picture here? Let me uh, make myself a bit smaller here. So is this the new Fusion? And I know I kind of just talked about this. What's going to be next here? And I talked about Dracula a lot. Now, a lot of people speculate and they said, you have Mashal, you have Seducer. That's not really Dracula. If you have to guess what a champion is, you know they didn't really theme it around another champion here. So we can look at the skills here and try to figure out what they're going to do. Because if you've been playing for long enough, you kind of understand what some of the symbols here are. So the first one is just a sword. That's going to be a bit hard to tell. But the second one does resemble some type of defense down ability. Hopefully it's AUE. I think they would learn. And if you're curious as to where I got the Dracula from, we do have bats here. We can see red flying bats flying out at this opponent here. I'm assuming this is attack based because he kind of looks like an attack based champion. And we do have a turn meter effect on that A3. Or it can be two passives. I'm not going to assume here. And for some reason, they're playing in one time speed, I guess, for the uh, class fantasy of it all. But this could be a really cool champion. Like I said, we have no information about this. I don't even know if, well, I mean, of course, Raid and Plarium know they put this picture out there, but maybe by the time I put this info out here, we'll have some updated information on what the kit actually does. But I want to see how savvy you guys are and how intuitive you can be about kind of looking into this guy's kit. What can he possibly do based on this? Like I said, we have what looks like a defense down aura, an icon here for an A2. A3, we have the clear lightning bolt for that turn meter and the A4 or a passive. Who knows? What's a Dracula type thing that this champion could be doing here? He does look like he has one type of AoE and the fact that there are bats in that AoE, I'm assuming this is some type of turn meter thing and the fact that their turn meters are full as far as the enemy wave goes in this phone picture here. This would probably be the best way to showcase turn meter decrease if they had showed, I guess, allies on that team. That would be a pretty good indicator as to he increases everyone's turn meter. Once again, just speculating here, but if I was Plarium making something like this, having a product out there for people to see when they did look at this picture, it's just the most logical thing to do. Full turn meter, AoE ability, they're going to decrease the turn meter, shadowy kind of guy, red bats, Dracula. I'm just going to assume the turn meter goes down here. Now, one interesting thing about that passive, it does a little bit resemble some type of resurrection. And maybe it's because Dracula's already dead, where he's going to self-revive. That would be really cool. Making a champion like Lydia Strong, of course. But I'm curious to see what you guys think. Let me know. A1, A2, A3, and passive or A4 if he has no passive. What do you guys think it's going to be? Maybe you guys can skip the A2 and the A3 as it does look pretty self-explanatory as far as the defense down and turn meter manipulation here. But the A1 and the passive or the A4 can look quite interesting. I'm not 100% sold on self-revive or reviving an ally here. And based on his animations, I am pretty hyped to see what the rest of this guy kit looks like. Him slamming that sword into the ground, sending out a red shockwave. With bats, I mean, we all know Plarium is known for their aesthetics. So hopefully this champion doesn't disappoint. Not going to lie, he looks kind of weird above me right now in this picture. Yes, of course, his face is pale to fit the Dracula lore here. And I think you guys pretty much know this, like I did mention earlier. Sometimes when I know things ahead of the time, I cannot tell you guys that information until it's officially out. 
And I think by now, if you've been watching me for a long time, you kind of understand this when I speculate on something or say, wouldn't it be cool if this happened or that happens? You guys kind of know that that's upcoming here, which is why, like I said, I did talk about Dracula before and really drive that point home in that last fusion video saying, what could the next Halloween version of this be? So according to this, it does look like we are getting some type of Dracula. I'm interested to see his kit. Once again, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this guy's not going to be disappointed. I do feel like a lot of the last fusions were a little bit underwhelming and there wasn't a clear place in this game for them. I do have some faith that it will change here, but I could stand corrected. And with that being said, that's going to conclude my video. Just a really short one talking about this image here, kind of giving you guys something to get excited for since outside of that duplicate news, there's not a lot of content coming up. So this is something to possibly look forward to if this wasn't just some random picture made out by Raid. So leave your feedback in the comment section, like this video, subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you do enjoy my content, and I will see you all in the next video.